I've relaunched the server here and I've hit this break point when a request comes in so we could talk about why when we look at the information about this user's array and the debugger, we don't have any details when we expand one of the elements. You can see we're printing the information out in the console. So when we console log the users, that seems to access the various different fields. However, we don't see that here in the debugger. We actually do have this information. It's under this underscore doc node. You can see alias, roles, et cetera. But you also see a lot of additional functionality. And on the prototype, you'll see there are functions available, getters, that return the various different pieces of information based on our schema. Behind the scenes, Mongoose is doing some rather complex things beyond just translating documents to and from the database. It also has change tracking built in. So that's why in the debugger here, you don't see the fields right underneath the object. And instead, these are kind of hidden away. So just keep that in mind. If you want to kind of debug what's going on, you'll need to poke around and take a look at the document object that's nested inside of the objects that are the model for whatever you've pulled back. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.